Hello everybody and welcome to the new MA tips. This time I would like to show you a nice example of the new tracking distance feature in GrandMA3. As you might know we implemented the tracking distance feature, you can see the new column here in the sequence sheet in version 1.1 in GrandMA3. Let me show you a nice example how to use it. What we can see here is a very simple cue list. So you can see our profiles here in red pointing at a position and we can see that this doesn't change for some cues. And at the end we have another cue where we want to use also the red but a different position for our profiles. Let's go to our cue number two. Here we want to use some of our profiles to point at a table for some specific cues. So we select them we put them to a white color and we choose a different position which is exactly this table and we store it in our queue number two so we say store q2 please and we just merge it let's have a look at our queue list now so we clear the programmer um, and then we have a look at the queue list so q2 3 4 and 5 or the position with the new color at the table is tracked and then we come to our important queue number six and we can see we have our old position back which is good but the new color white is also tracked into queue number six of course so that's the point where we use the tracking distance in the tracking distance we can say for queue number two that we want to track these new values up to queue number five or a specific Q delta, so for a distance of Qs. When we put it to Q number five, you can see that now, having a look at our two fixtures, we have a tracking distance for the new color. And this new color, it's our preset 4.1, the white, is tracked up to Q number five. Afterwards, we go back to our red color, so preset 4.2. So now our queue list looks as expected. The great benefit of the absolute queue number here is that it doesn't matter how many queues I will store in between in the future. So let's assume we have a different queue here with our box fixtures and they are coming to full. You can see they point at the boxes now and we store this as a queue 3.5, so in between. We just use this queue only for example, use OK and you can see that the tracking distance when we have again a look at our fixtures is up to queue number 5. So no difference if we store one or more queues in between, this tracking distance will always lead us up to queue number 5. That's just one example how to use the new tracking distance. Check this out and see you next time for the MA tips.